Thousands of protesters packed the streets of London's financial district on Saturday to demonstrate against the newly re-elected Conservative government's plans for public spending cuts. Protesters gathered outside the Bank of England to listen to speeches before marching through central London towards Parliament. I think there's a genuine need to stop uh, austerity and cuts to, to the vulnerable, uh, particularly the disabled, the elderly and the young. The young, the government seems to be very interested, almost obsessed with cutting benefits for young people who are looking for work. I just don't think the poor should have to suffer for the mistakes of the rich. Um, it's affecting the vulnerable, the disabled, uh, the mentally ill. People are just unlucky, perhaps not the best start in life, and the ones suffering for the mistakes of the few, the, the few at the top. Since winning the election, Conservative Finance Minister George Osborne has said he wants government departments to make extra cuts this year and to commit future governments to run budget surpluses during normal economic times. You know, at the election, like everyone says, well, the Tories got a majority, but they only got about 800 or 600,000 more votes than they did in 2010. So, you know, they didn't really, there wasn't like a big, they didn't get a big mandate for their full manifesto, which is what they're claiming. 25% of people voted Tory, you know, that's nothing. So I think everyone's like, a lot of people from all up and down the country are here because they've just had enough. They've had enough of austerity, of cuts, of privatisation, and they don't agree with it. The protest was organised by the People's Assembly Against Austerity an umbrella group with support from trade unions, anti-war protesters and some Labour and Green Party politicians.